Hi, this is Dale Buchanan, the host of Puppy Talk Podcast. Before we get started today, I wanted to let you know of my new book, The Complete Puppy Training Manual. It's available on Amazon in four formats Kindle ebook, paperback, hardcover, and audiobook. You can find it on Amazon right now. It's called The Complete Puppy Training Manual, and I will put a link in the show notes of this episode. I'm Dale Buchanan, and this is Puppy Talk, the podcast that offers free advice and tips for raising a happy, healthy, and obedient puppy. For more information on this podcast, visit us online at puppytalkpodcast.com. Welcome to Puppy Talk episode number 58. Today I'm going to talk about something that I keep getting emails about and comments about on my social media posts and that is potty training. A video that I did two years ago on my YouTube channel recently went viral. It's called How I Potty Train My Puppy in One Day. A lot of people are commenting on this video asking more detailed questions of how to potty train their puppy. Even though in the video I detail specifically what you have to do, and in the description I also provide a lot of information and links to my website with other potty training articles. Potty training is a big, big problem with a lot of new puppy owners. I get emails every day from people who live locally in Huntsville, Alabama, where my business Top Gun Dog Training is located. Every time I go on Facebook groups and do a search for puppy training issues, potty training is always the number one thing that people are talking about everybody's giving advice on how to potty train their puppy, but nobody really knows what works. And this is evident because people continue to have problems. I've narrowed it down to three reasons why your puppy is not being potty trained, and it's 100% the owner's responsibility to do these three things with the puppy and teach the puppy what you want it to do, which ultimately is to pee and poop outside on the grass. Just to put everything into context, potty training is not having your dog ring a doorbell or go through a doggy door to go outside and go potty and then come inside and lay down on their bed. Potty training is about teaching your dog to go outside on the grass, not inside the house. I don't recommend doggy doorbells for young puppies. The reason is because young puppies should be supervised while in the house until they are potty trained, so they should not have the opportunity to get up from where they are, go to the front door or back door, ring the doorbell with their nose or paw, and then go outside to go potty. Another thing that happens is the dog associates that ringing the doorbell means go outside, not necessarily to go potty. So when the dog goes outside and it comes back in and goes potty immediately, the puppy clearly has not associated to go outside and go potty in the grass versus inside. So that's always the first step. In my book, The Complete Puppy Training Manual, which I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, I have a whole chapter on potty training. I get into the basics of potty training. There are several steps that you need to take. I am also writing a new book. This is going to be a very extensive potty training book to help each new puppy owner identify why their puppy is not catching on, what they can do about it, and so many other things. This is going to be a very detailed book on potty training, and I hope to have it done by the beginning of 2023. In the meantime, like I have already mentioned, there are three things that I've identified that are preventing the puppy from being properly potty trained. Number one, they aren't supervised enough. They have too much freedom in the house. It's very, very important that you do not let your young puppy roam around in the house. You've got to put them in a crate or have them on a leash, a four or six foot leash near you at all times. And you have to be watching them. So if they show signs that they need to go outside, like sniffing or crying or barking or jumping up on you, then they probably need to go outside. You need to have your eyes on your puppy at all times until they have learned to eliminate outside. In fact, I've owned dogs for a long time, and I've never 
not had my eyes on my dogs 100% of the time while they're in the house. If I'm sitting watching TV or I'm on the computer or I'm doing something in the living room, my puppy Dixie is laying in front of me on her bed. She has two beds, one straight away, one a little bit to the left of me. If I can't keep my eye on her, she's in the crate because she's a chewer. She'll get into my plants. She'll start chewing cables. She'll do all kinds of things like that. Now, she's completely potty trained, but she has other issues which are chewing. And I manage that by keeping my eye on her or putting her in the crate. It's very, very simple. Reason number two your puppy is not catching on to potty training is they're not rewarded properly at the instant they go potty in the grass. They have to be praised like this. Good boy, good girl. That's a good puppy. That's a good little baby. Here's a treat. Yes, that's such a good boy. And then pet them on the head. Let them know that they did something fantastic. Make it a big event. Make it a party. This is what I did with Dixie. The first day I had her, when she went pee and poop in the grass, I had her walk down a hallway, go down an elevator, go down another hallway, go through a parking lot to grass. And she was 10 weeks old, and she did it. I had a big party. Everybody's on their balcony cheering her on. Yes, this is such a good girl. She realized instantly what she did was great because I let her know it was fantastic. The third reason why your puppy isn't properly catching on to potty training is you're not giving them enough time outside to learn potty training on the grass. A lot of new puppy owners will take the puppy outside every hour and they spend two or three minutes outside with the puppy. That's not enough time. Sometimes I take Dixie outside, and she's almost three years old, and I have to spend 45 minutes with her to eliminate. Some dogs just don't go right away. Young puppies don't care where they eliminate. They could care less if it's inside, on a pee pad. They could care less if it's on your carpet, on your floor, on your driveway, on your sidewalk. They don't care. They just need to go because they have a bladder that's full. They have a colon that's full. They need to eliminate. Your job is to supervise this puppy, take them to the grass, and condition them to go in the grass. The puppy is not going to learn this on their own. You, as the new puppy owner, have got to take responsibility. And let me review again what you need to do. One, Supervise your puppy while in the house. Two, reward them for going potty outside in the grass. Three, if they've never gone potty outside in the grass or if they have trouble doing that, you've got to spend more time with them outside for the first few days so that they learn to go in the grass and then you can go back to rewarding them. And then you go back to supervising them again. A puppy is properly potty trained when they have not eliminated inside the house for two weeks. Wow, two weeks, you're thinking. That's a long time. I don't know if my puppy will ever be potty trained. They don't let me know when they want to go outside, and I can't read their mind. This is a fact. You have to be proactive. You seriously have to listen to what I'm saying here. I would say the number one reason why puppies aren't being potty trained goes back to what I said earlier. They're not supervised inside the house. They have too much freedom. I know a lot of new puppy owners that don't believe in using crates. They don't want to use a leash on their dog inside. They don't want to treat their dog that way. They think it's bad. It's not bad. The crate is not bad. The crate is a way for your puppy to relax, decompress, get some sleep. Puppies need 16 to 18 hours of sleep a day. Where are they going to sleep? They're not going to sleep if they're running around the house with zoomies. They have to go somewhere where they can stop and shut it down. The crate's your best option there because they're not going to get themselves in trouble. Puppies don't know how to make good decisions initially. We have to teach them. You, as the owner, have to teach them. And you have to be very patient with potty training. Another thing that's important to know, if you got your puppy from a breeder from somewhere where the puppy was already trained to go on pee pads inside the house, you need to get rid of the pee pads. You need to get rid of those things immediately and teach your puppy to go outside. Pee pads are such a bad idea because it trains your puppy to go inside. 
Once your puppy has gone inside, then training them to go outside is a big problem. I get a lot of calls from new puppy owners, and they say they're having trouble potty training their puppy. The first thing I ask them, do you use pee pads? And 100% of those people say, yes, we're using pee pads. But we also want to teach the puppy to go outside in the grass. Think about that for a second. (laughs) That's very, very hard to do. You're confusing the puppy. You need to teach the puppy one way or the other. Go on pee pads or go outside. Very hard for the puppy to do two things. I highly recommend teaching your puppy to go outside versus using pee pads. I've gone to houses before where the house smells like pee and poop because there's pee pads all over the house, and the owners are disgusted by it. I'm disgusted by it. It's a bad idea. I don't know who invented pee pads, but they're just not a good idea. There is a great alternative to pee pads, and I did this in an episode recently, which is called Fresh Patch. I'll link that episode in the show notes, along with some articles that I've done on potty training. My potty training book will be done early next year. In the meantime, you should also consider full obedience training for your puppy because I have also found that a puppy that can't be potty trained easily is also suffering from lack of obedience and discipline. So you want to teach your puppy basic obedience, leash training, crate training, and potty training all together. In the episode I did recently on the first five things to teach your new puppy, Number one is potty training. I'll also link that episode in the show notes. If you have any further questions, please email me through the website, puppytalkpodcast.com. And be sure to check out my book, The Complete Puppy Training Manual, on Amazon. Have a great day. This is Dale Buchanan, host of Puppy Talk Podcast. I have an announcement of a new book that I just published called Potty Training Your Puppy. It's available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback, soon to be available on audiobook. You can find out all the details of this book using the link in the show notes. It's called Potty Training Your Puppy. It's a comprehensive book with a simple and effective way to help potty train your puppy, and it really works. Check out the link in the show notes.